Welcome back to The Morning Blend. This book, Undiscovered Country, mixes fact and fiction. It tells the story of a romantic relationship between a female reporter and a former first lady of the United States, Eleanor, Eleanor Roosevelt. That's right. And we're here now with the author, Kelly O'Connor McNeese, who became fascinated by these two women and their story. Nice to Hi. meet you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So I've got to clarify, right? Because I've always said Roosevelt. The proper way to say it is Roosevelt? Well, that's what I've heard, though I still tend to say Roosevelt because that's what I always learned. Yeah, that's fascinating, though, that that is the correct way to say it. So let's talk about first, before we kind of get into Eleanor and her story, who is Lorena Hickok? Because that is who your story is often based, is based around. So Lorena Hickok was a reporter for the Associated Press um, in the 1920s and 30s, and she was really the top woman reporter in the country. She reported on a lot of huge stories like the Lindbergh baby kidnapping and many political stories, and she was assigned to cover FDR's first campaign in 1932, and that's really where she and Eleanor first connected. No, I know that your, your book, You Say, mixes fact and fiction. Mm -hmm. It's inspired by historical records. So mm -hmm. is it true that between Lorena Hickok, or Hick, which mm -hmm. was her nickname, mm -hmm. that she and Eleanor Roosevelt exchanged 3,000 letters mm -hmm. over 30 years? Yes, that is true, and I've actually been to see those letters um, in the archives. Um, and many of them are very friendly, but there was a period of time in their relationship the first two years where most historians have sort of come to agree that this was a romantic uh, connection. I could imagine that poses some risks and some difficulties for her. She's married, you know, and, and there are things, obviously, at the time of um, the time in history. Yes. Talk about what some of those may have been and, and how she handled them. Well, it was risky on many levels. It was risky for Eleanor Roosevelt, who was a very public figure mm -hmm. and under tremendous scrutiny as the First Lady. Um, it was very risky for Hick because she was sort of outside of the circle of money and power that the Roosevelts were part of. And she, she risked a lot. She had to give up a lot in order for them to have this relationship, including her career. Yeah, I was going to ask uh -huh. about the impact on Eleanor Roosevelt's life and her career. Mm -hmm. What is it about the letters that is, is it is it in, where you say that historians now believe it was romantic? Mm -hmm. Is it overtly so? Is it an expression of feelings mm -hmm. kind of thing? Absolutely. A lot of longing to be together, to hold each other in their arms. Um, it's pretty clear that this was more than a friendship. But, you know, my interest really was less in what exactly was the nature of this connection and more uh, clearly this was an intense connection of some sort and so what was the impact that this had on each other's lives especially Hick whose story we don't really know that much about we we've read read many many books about Eleanor Roosevelt but most people have never heard of Lorena Hickok so this was my you know hope in writing this novel to really shed light on her story. Yeah mm -hmm. and you say some of her writings were really important because they gave us an insight into the depression. Absolutely so like I said she was you know the top woman reporter in the country because of this connection with Eleanor eventually uh, there was so much pressure on her to use her skills as a reporter to uncover information that she wasn't willing to do, wasn't mm -hmm. willing to betray Eleanor, she eventually left the AP wow. and took a job for the federal government um, as what they call the federal investigator. So she traveled the country during the, the worst years of the Depression interviewing regular people yeah. um, about their lives and about what they needed, about what they were missing, so that the government policies could be crafted around how to get the help the best that they needed. Well, so these, these writings are, are a great oral history of yeah. the Depression. And huh. so many people admire Eleanor Roosevelt. Um, she's a legend. Yes. Um, this mm -hmm. maybe also shows that she's human um, if people see it that way. Do you think in any way it takes away from her image or the admiration mm -hmm. that people have or had for her? Not at all. I think um, it's so important to understand women in history fully from every facet of their life. And to me, this just enriches our understanding of where maybe some of her deep empathy came from. You know, she was known for being able to understand people from all walks of life and what it was like to be on the outside. And I think understanding the nature of this relationship really sheds light on maybe what the source of that was. She knew what it was to be different. She knew what yeah. it was to not 
fit into the mold that she was supposed to fit into. Wow. So cool. I People love can the get way a copy you put that. Of, yeah, they can get a copy of your book. They can meet you coming up tomorrow. It's at 7 o'clock. You're going to be speaking about the novel, which is Undiscovered Country, at the Linden Sculpture Garden, which is right on West Brown Deer Road, Milwaukee. Um, it's uh, $25 for members, $30 otherwise. It includes an autographed copy of the book, refreshments, admission to the sculpture garden as well. So you can come early and stroll the grounds and enjoy the day. You can register on online at the website on your screen or call 414-446-8794 as well for more. Thank you so, so much for cool. being here. Thank you very what much. What an interesting yeah, what perspective. We appreciate your time. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, fascinating. Thank you.